Hi, welcome back. And this is another video in our series on kinematics, and this one is on acceleration. Let's get going. So, acceleration, the symbol is lowercase a. It's any change in velocity over a period of time. Okay, so remember, velocity is a vector quantity, which includes the amount, the magnitude, and direction. So your acceleration can change in uh, a couple of different ways. Your uh, speed, the magnitude of your velocity can change. It can get faster or slower. Or your direction can change. You can be going at a constant speed but be changing direction and that is acceleration. Now in one dimension, the sign of the acceleration indicates the direction of the change in velocity. It doesn't mean that you're going slower or faster just by itself. Okay, so as I said, acceleration can be speeding up, slowing down, or turning. So here's your free response questions. Welcome back. For the most part, we're going to be concerned with uniform or constant acceleration. That means that the acceleration is constant throughout our problem. In physics GT, we will only assume that acceleration is constant. But in mechanics, that's not always the case. In fact, that's why we need calculus. So with this assumption that the acceleration is constant, we can use this equation. The acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. And the SI unit of acceleration is meters per second squared, or uh, we could write it as meters per second per some time interval. Now, when you divide by something, okay, when you, in fractions, it's the same as multiplying by 1 over. So meters per second times 1 over seconds is how we end up with meters per second squared. We could also have meters per second per hour or kilometers per hour per second. Those are all acceptable units of acceleration. However, the only SI unit is the meter per second squared. Okay, so the sign is very important and it's one of the most difficult things to understand about acceleration is what its sign is. So, in one dimensional motion, the sign of the velocity and the sign of the acceleration are often two different things. However, if you're speeding up, you're getting faster, your acceleration has the same sign as your velocity. If you're slowing down, your acceleration has the opposite sign of your velocity. You have to remember that. So we're going to do a couple of qualitative demonstrations to see if we can cement that in our heads. Okay, the motion of a particle that has zero initial velocity and positive acceleration. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, if it's accelerating, that means its velocity is changing. And it's positive, so that means it's going faster and faster in the positive direction. So uh, I'm going to draw a dot right there. That's where we're starting. After And we're, we start at rest here. So we originally are at rest. And let's say after a second, we're there. After another second, we're here. After another second, we're there. After another second, we're that far out. And after another second, we're all the way out there. That shows that our speed is increasing in the positive direction. So that means our acceleration is positive. Next, demonstrate the motion of a particle that has a zero initial velocity and negative acceleration. 
motion. So demonstration, demonstrate the motion of a particle that has zero initial velocity and negative acceleration. So I'm going to start over here. My particle is at rest. And after one second, it's here. After two seconds, it's here. After three seconds, it's there. After four seconds, it's there. After five seconds, it's all the way down there. And that shows that our speed is increasing in the negative direction. That means because they're uh, speeding up, that your acceleration takes the sign of your velocity. Let's do our next one. Demonstrate the motion of a particle that has positive initial velocity and negative acceleration. Positive initial velocity and negative acceleration. Well, that means I'm moving in the positive direction. So in one second I do that, but I'm slowing down. And now I'm at rest. So that would be positive initial velocity and negative acceleration. Let's see what's next. Particle that has negative initial velocity and positive acceleration. Okay, negative initial velocity and positive acceleration. So we're going to be slowing down as we travel in the negative direction. So each dot is one second apart. We're heading in the negative direction and slowing down. So that means our signs of velocity and acceleration are opposite. Average acceleration, it describes how fast the velocity is changing with respect to time. So I'm going to expand the equation out. So average acceleration is the change in velocity during a time interval or it's the change in the change in position during a time interval. Just expanding that out during a time interval. So we have these two time intervals, so that's how we end up with units of meters per second squared. And the sign determines the direction. So remember that delta V over delta T is equal to V final minus V initial over the time interval. And if you're not sure of what the sign is, go back, fill it in to this equation, and that will help you get the sign correct. Next is your multiple choice question. Take a moment, review, rewind, and good luck. We'll see you next time.